Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you the Urban Decay's Electric Palette. This is the palette that um, Urban Decay recently released. Um, perfect for the springtime. I'm just going to go ahead and talk about it and um, give you my review and some of the colors that I worked with and the color combinations that I did. It looks like this. It is an extremely bright, vibrant um, palette. And for those of you who are familiar with Urban Decay, they kind of tend to do a little bit more, um, they call it beauty with an edge. And so they have their naked palettes, which I'm pretty sure everyone's familiar with, though they're a little bit more on the natural side. I'm so super excited to get the electric palette because, I mean, these are all neon colors. They never really have released anything like this before. They have done the Vice palette and the Vice 1 and 2, but this one's definitely a bit more on the, you know, crazy side, neon side. So it was really exciting to see them come out with something like this. I uh, will be talking about each of the colors, and there was a warning on the box that says... It says... Urban and Jilted were not intended to use around the immediate eye area. Um, I guess it's because the colors are, they stain your eyes, which FYI, yes they do, they do stain your eyes. I, that was like the first co two colors I put on around my eye area and it did stain them and it, it is a little bit difficult to take off. Um, Urban is, the, Urban is this purple one and right here. And Jilted is this like pink fuchsia one on this side. So it came with like a little warning paper and it explained everything. And I totally tossed that and I didn't even read it. And my friend was the one that told me that she said that you're not supposed to use those colors around the eye area. And those are the first two colors that I use. So, um, and I'll pop in a picture of the eyeshadow that I did yesterday. I am wearing... Revolt, which is like this silver, um, like a silver sort of glittery silver color, and then I'm using jilted, jilted on the crease. So anyway, I will pop in a picture of the look that I used yesterday. Yesterday, um, I did freak and thrash. Freak thrash urban and jilted all on the eye area it was kind of like a joker-esque sort of look i guess you could call it um so this is the palette is 42 dollars, i believe and it does come with a brush a double-ended brush which you know most of the urban decay palettes do come with <clears throat> um for me i really don't have too many neon colors in a palette i have them single and single shadows so this was something I definitely wanted to add to my collection so you definitely want might want to think about getting this if you don't have any neon um, palettes or if you kind of just want to experiment with something definitely would recommend this because I feel like you can get so many neon shadows single but there really isn't too many palettes that come in a whole um there is a coastal sense creative me palette which is also really good and affordable but this is definitely exciting because it's from Urban Decay and Urban Decay is one of my favorite makeup brands. So I'm just going to go by each swatch and um, talk about them. And so you guys can see how they look. I'll do one with primer and I'll do one without primer. And they're still pretty vibrant without a primer. So, so this color is Revolt and it is a shimmery kind of silver glittery color. Obviously the first one is without a primer and the second swatch is with a primer. Um, it's a very pretty color and I love that you can kind of manipulate it to make it look more silver than it actually really is. Gonzo is a really pretty teal-ish mermaid blue color which has a slight iridescence to it. Um, I would say it looks just about the same without a primer than it does with. This is a gorgeous blood orange. It is extremely neon and very vibrant. Um, the camera really does not pick up its true color. It is way more orange in person and it is just extremely gorgeous. Savage is extremely neon and very pink and again the camera does not pick up its true color. 
This is a really gorgeous aquamarine blue that does have a bit of shimmer and iridescence to it as well. Chaos is a deep cobalt ocean blue. Then this one is one of the colors that I think you definitely do need a primer to see its true color. Jilted is a really pretty fuchsia color. Um, again, you do need a primer to see its true shade. It definitely has an iridescence to it and it really pairs great with all of the rest of the colors. Ribbon is definitely one of my favorite, favorite colors from this palette, if not my favorite purple of all time. Definitely the most gorgeous royal purple I've ever seen. Freak is a true lime green shade and it's super gorgeous and has a little bit more of a shimmer to it. Last but not least is the color Thrash. It is a chartreuse green and it is super, super pretty. Um, you definitely have to see it in person. The camera does not pick up the color or do it any justice. And this is also one of my top favorites from this palette. So that was it. That was all of the swatches for the Urban Decay Electric palette. All in all, I would re really recommend this palette. I tried to try as best as possible to show you the colors and um, how it looked with and without primer. It's definitely a great palette to have, um, something fun to add to your collection, and I would really recommend reading the um, advisor or um, warning thing that it came with, the paper. I totally just threw it away, I didn't even read it, but it does stain as you can see even washing my fingers and trying to um, sort of take it off with a makeup remover um, wipe and <laughs> trying to wash my hands. It's still it's quite stuck on there and my eyeshadow from the previous day was still on there regardless of trying to remove it with makeup remover as well. So I would be a little bit careful if you're kind of concerned um, with staining around your eye area. Definitely um, would advise to just be, be precautious and um, yeah. So that is it. That is the end of my review video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you next time.